anything specific? We're looking for ginger muppets that beat up dogs. Alright. Oh, Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time here around here. So we are currently at Manchester Airport. Why are we at Manchester Airport? Well, we're going up in that private jet, obviously. I wish. Maybe one day. No, we are here, unfortunately, to cover the story on Sergeant Martin Dunn, who is a firearms officer based here at Manchester Airport. And unfortunately, he's got a tendency to punch puppies, to punch his own puppy up about three, four blows. Um, I'm going to stitch in the footage for you right now. Um, it's quite distressing. Distressing? Quite distressing. Can't even talk. It's quite distressing. Um, so if you've got any kids in the room and you don't want to see them um, see a, a dog getting violently and brutally attacked, then I would recommend pausing it and sending them out of the room. Or maybe go upstairs, sit on the toilet and watch it on your mobile phone. But Sergeant Martin Dunn, check it out here. Exactly guys, how disgusting is that? How absolutely disgusting is he? So, he has, um, he's been in court. He's been, um, I think he actually pled guilty. He did plead guilty in fact, and um, he wasn't found guilty. Um, and I'm gonna read to you a little bit about, about him now. So, Greater Manchester Police, got me notes here guys, Greater Manchester Police, firearms officer who punched puppy is not suspended but will face internal investigation. Sergeant Martin Dunn punched a five month old Spink Spaniel called Frank several times in his garden after it pulled on his lounge carpet leading him to see red, the court heard. A Greater Manchester Police firearms officer who was sentenced for animal cruelty after punching the puppy is not suspended but will now be subject sorry, to an internal investigation that has been confirmed. Sergeant Martin Dunn punched a five-month-old spring spaniel called Frank. Why is it repeating itself? Sorry, guys. Having footage of him, the attack was played in court in which he could be heard to scream, you little bastard, at the puppy before raining down in the middle of the road, leaving the dog yelping in pain, which, as we saw, it was absolutely disgusting. Sorry, guys, I'm going to adjust my camera footage. Um, so he blamed, he said that but due to himself being involved in the Manchester bombings at the arena, he said that he must have been suffering from PTSD without realising. So PTSD, firearms officer, who obviously has serious anger issues, walking around with a gun. How insane is that? And this is the worst and disgusting thing about it. You know what he was sentenced to, guys? He was sentenced to a 12-month community order with a £85 fine and a £95 surcharge to be paid in 28 days. Um, it is unclear precisely what would happen to the dog as the court heard its ownership is disputed but he's been given a five year ban from having pets. To me, he should have gone to jail and got a lifetime ban from pets. So let's go see if we can find some of his colleagues, shall we? So, as we can see, back to this airport as well guys, we had an absolute nightmare with parking and I mean a nightmare. We couldn't find anywhere to park, we ended up paying um, £6 per 30 minutes at the Terminal 1 short stay car park. £6 for 30 minutes? Unbelievable, we found another car park which is um, down here and they wanted um, £6 yeah, for 5 to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, still £6? They're robbing people blind here at parking mate, absolutely crazy. Sherlock, this is the uh, police building. Yeah. Let's try to find the entrance. Where's the entrance, guys? Where's the entrance? Okay. Now we've got some more police vehicles. Oh, look at that big thing. Look at that bad boy. That's a bad boy, isn't it? Look at that. Don't see them about much. Yeah, it is exactly. Yeah. It's like the uh, it's one of the tactical things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bulletproof and etc. Yeah. etc. Et That's quite nice. I might have to get a photo it's of that. That's uh, definitely not wanker proof. Go! We know you're in there. 
Got all the handles on the stop on the top front, the stand on. Big armor plated shield on the front. Pretty neat. It is really neat. I'm gonna get a few pictures while I'm here. We've got a police car here. I wonder if he's um, got out to say about done. Do you reckon he'll stop us and say hello? What do you reckon, guys? I wonder if there's any gingers in the car. I'll ask him, I'll say, are, are either you ginger or not? Are either of them ginger? No, nah, that's not them. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I'm not too bad. You did a bit of filming. You need to do that, don't you, buddy? Yeah. Hey. That's a bit knackered, that police force me to buy you a new hat. It's not the best ever, is it? Knackered. What are you filming? Anything specific? We're looking for ginger muppets that beat up dogs. Yeah. Alright. Oh, so do you know of any? Yeah. You don't know of any whatsoever? I think you do, you but you're probably lying. Do you have any names? Are you prepared to give me your names? No, absolutely no. not, mate. I'm no. not obliged to know, not at all. Right. Do you know okay. him? I've seen him on the newspapers. <laughs> he's, he's not working with him? He's based here, so I would have thought you know him. Why, why do you want to with him? What do I want with him? I want to ask questions. I'm going to ask him just a few questions. Right. What if he feels it's so right to hit a dog like that? This, this is a guy in trusted power walking around with firearms, um, um, watching thousands of people every right. single day. But you're, you're, not prepared, even... you're not prepared to give me your names and your addresses or anything? I don't like have no, no. name and address. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Do we have to? So you've got no interest in the actual airports? Yes, I'm absolutely. Yeah. I'm buzzing yeah, yeah. the airport when I get some pitched up planes. I'm not going to start taking off and landing. Right. Okay, okay. Right, well, good luck then. No problem. All right. Do you know where we can find Mr. Dunn? No, no. We will. Any chance? Can you see double one four nine three? I don't know where he is at the moment, no. no. But you know him personally, don't you? Um, if you want any questions, obviously, I think you need to go to the right channel. You have to go to the right, maybe the... We well, we'll figured that if we don't find him, we'll just go to his home address up where home. Yeah. We know where he lives in Kirklees. Yeah, so. <laughs> so we'll just go no, see him there. Oh, you know that, do you? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all public. They published it in papers, public. didn't they? So. Yeah, it's all public. I've not all read all the newspapers. Yeah, so. yeah they published you, it in papers. Can I just ask you, do you agree with you colleagues' agree? actions? Yeah. If you've got any questions regarding it, then I I mean, I'm the, not going to give you any specific answers, but you should speak to the media people. Don't you think his own colleagues have let him down as well? Uh, you know, because he said that he, he'd just, had PTSD. I think what I'll do is, I'll just, I'll just leave you to it. You can do your uh, filming, yeah. but just uh, bear in mind that, you know, you know there are... If, if, can I ask one more question? Yeah, if yeah. we can do us filming, why did you approach us? Because we've had a, rec a report of people filming. But you've just said we can do us filming. I'm, I'm not going to stop you filming. So there will no need for you to approach us then? If there's no problem with it, why did you approach us? Because that, we've I'll had a, leave, we've I'll leave you to think of that one. We've had a report of people Go. filming. Let's keep, let's keep looking I'll for ginger people. Just please, mate, next yeah. time, understand that you need to do your job. Let's Got another one over here, guys, but he just sat there doing no. A bit quiet. Cheers, okay, Bob. Okay, All right, mate. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, do you agree in Dunn's actions, buddy? PC1751, do you agree? So, guys, like, one, one, two, seven, so, five, like I said, like I said, we will visit his home address on the way home. Um, I wasn't actually going to tell you that on the video until we got there. I thought it might have been a nice little um, surprise for the video, but... I'm getting radio traffic as well. Do we know Mr. Martin Dunn officers? You know the, the ginger knob that likes um, beating on puppies? If we know you know him, he obviously he works here. We're looking for Martin Dunn, there should have been some police work done about him, but he got a 12 month suspended sentence for beating his dog. They probably go home and beat their dogs as well and beat his wife. Sort of people they are. I'm kind of agreeing that. Shut up, keep walking if you don't want to talk to us, innit? Yeah. Fucking mugs. Right, let's go um We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go to his home address, guys. We're hoping we're hoping we're gonna meet him at work because we're more of a friendly zone. Yeah, no, that, that's just got me by up on the But they don't yeah, they don't I'm gonna let me flip the camera around. They don't wanna talk guys, you know. They're not gonna just talk smack about the colleague, especially a sergeant. Um, but we, I suppose, you know, we didn't expect them to um, start answering us questions, but, you know, could have a little bit of... Um, yeah, as Sherlock just said, if you didn't hear it, it'd be nice to see a police officer show human feelings, not, uh, not, not, not robotic ones. At the end of the day, I can't see him going home and sitting there and Mrs. going, how do you feel about that? He's like, can't comment, can't comment. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Everyone's got feelings and, yeah. and I do believe, like, they, they should say it, they should say it, and it'll make them look a little bit better, you know. Yeah. That's that. And that any half respecting person would have got a comment to say about a man beating oh. down on a dog like that. Oh. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, guys, it.
they've probably circled us around here so they know that we're here so probably won't get any other officers talking to us um, but we're gonna um, I'm gonna go do something else on the way home and then we're gonna go and um, well I'll tell you what I'll see you in five minutes outside his door see you in a bit guys um, effectively surrounded by police they um, want to find us we've got a police card there and we've got another one just through there they're trying to, yeah, they want to see which car we're in so they can get, well, at least they can get Eddie's details. Chances are they've probably got cameras on us anyway, so they're probably going to get the car when we go back either way. They're going to get it. Oh, wait for pigs. Now, nah, we're here about the armed police officer that's based here who um, just been done for beating his uh, five month old puppy up. We had a sergeant, ginger sergeant called Martin Dunn. We had a firearms officer based here, and yeah, he's just been convicted two days ago. And, uh, but, but he's still at work, he's still uh, on uh, light and duty sort of thing. Man, I'm not a cop, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you soon, man. There you go, guys. That's Manchester security. Glad he's not a copper. <laughs> Thought we were plane spotters and there was something exciting coming in. Yeah. Nice plane. Right, go. So we've got um, police watching us from two different sides. We're about to get back in the car. Let's see if we get stopped. They try to look at number plate. What's up with you? Look at him. Sausage, isn't it? What are you doing? There's been Pub what, public you, servant, what are you doing? I think he's a tyrant myself. Do you know what? I'm going to come check your vehicle over. I'm going to do my own little, little check on your camera. Check the tyre first. I'm going to check lighting and lighting. So, guys, just so you know, I'm currently stood blocking the oh. number plate. Um, just to cause him a bit of annoyance. Not too sure what his problem is, but yeah. He's obviously up Dunn's G, isn't he? Yeah. Did you beat that dog with him? Would you smack your cop to find your five people? Is that something you agree with? Because we're questioning one of their other officers, this is how they're coming, this is how they react. It's a bit pathetic, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, vehicle comes back, you show them all speed, tax, get yourself walking away. Idiot. Absolute dog work there, aren't you? What are you asking for? We've got more here, guys, look. Can I ask what your issue is, fellas? No issue, mate. No so issue why are you running people's plates through with no other no people's life with suspicion? No issue, my ass. Let's be honest about it. Come on. Yeah, harassing people. I'm yeah, harassing anybody, mate. That's your opinion. I apologise, but we're not harassing anybody. So, what, can I ask why you've sent the number plate through? I think. Can I ask why you've sent that number plate through? We're allowed to do routine checks. For what? For what? Because, For what? because we're here to slate one of the colleagues and they all stick together. No, 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 you've just taken them details from that photo of what we are. You are not suspected of committing a crime, are you? Are you tracking police? No, you are not tracking police. So you've no reason to stop us. What have you stopped us under? What, have you, what are you checking that car out under? Muppets, guys. What, what section, what, what Absolute what? Muppets. The issue is, you two tyrants are talking. Use your, use your skills, you Muppet. Absolute fucking Muppets, these guys, genuinely. By coming over here and taking that down. You're not going to get a reaction, guys. You're not going to get a reaction out of us. You're proper calm, mate. You're proper calm, mate. Yeah. Fuck off. Idiot. Let's go see how calm Dunn is when we go to his dorm. Tell, tell, tell him come pull us over. We've got your badge numbers. We've come. got your colour numbers. We'll Let's go to his house, man. Nick, these. Come on. Fuck off. What? Why are you swearing at us, mate? We're not swearing at you. Well, what, what are you Tough, innit? We're, no. we're not swearing at you. And right, what are you going to do about it? Why are you swearing? There's nothing you can do about it. It's ignorance, isn't it? Ignorance is standing there when someone's talking to you and blanking and blanking. Blank. That's ignorance, mate. I'm Why are you swearing? Don't be doing yourself, mate. If you want people to respect you, respect people. I'm not swearing at you. Well, well show some respect then. Stop being ignorant you like you've got no respect, respect if you're swearing. Why would I respect a couple of dudes? Where? There, that car that's just turned up there, did they hear me? Shall we ask if they heard me? How can they hear from me? We're not swearing at you. It's on camera, pal. You just have the reaction and you're not going to get it. And you just give it. You just give it. Yeah, colleague, tell him to shut up. Brain dead, mate, if you think you're not giving a reaction. 
All I'm yeah. saying to you two, yeah, what we're here doing right now, we're outing your colleague for beating his five month old dog, animal cruelty. Do you know your colleague's still walking about in there for, uh, on his daily routine, daily business, doing whatever he wants to do, earning his money? Do you know if that were one of us, what had happened to us? We'd be in prison and we'd carry in the dog with PTSD. There you go, yeah, he's got PTSD. What happens if, got, if he malfunctions again? On These won't give a fuck no, if no, what he no, does. No, 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 don't give a shit. Be careful, there's members of public about. Just get out on camera just to, to clarify. <laughs> I really couldn't give a flying toss, to be honest. Come on, man, let's go to his house, boys. And you got nothing to do? Knit these. And you got nothing to do, no? And you got some police work to do? Because right now you look like a proper couple of childish, immature people stood outside of a fucking really. Can we go up? No, you it's just the bad ones. What? Yeah, I know I'm free to go. I mean, you won't detain me, have you? So why would you tell me I'm free to go? It's called cops planning. Come, I see what he's got to his yard, bro. We're going to get down. I mean, I mean, if, if, Let if, him if fuck you've him got in. his personal number, just give him a call and tell him that we'll be at his house in about 25 minutes. Nah, about half hour, actually. Definitely tell him to expect his dog, it'd be brilliant if he's waiting for us. Guys, so listen, we have arrived on Albion Gardens. So... Sergeant Martin Dunn lives in one of these houses around me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to send the drone up and we're going to compare it to the footage that is on the video and we're going to see if we can um, marry it up. I'll see you in a roll in more, guys. So guys, as promised, we would find and track down his house. And here it is. This is his garden. This is his house. This one right here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So we tracked it down by... On the video... There's um, the two cars, right near the end when the dog runs off, there's two cars there. And there's also the plant pot on a little triangle. There's the plant pot on the little triangle. Got you, mate. Got you. Right, so let's go around to the front and we'll um, do a little piece uh, for camera. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'll just say I'll give credit to Sherlock Jones there because he did the drone work and tracked it down. So big respects, guys. Hey, I told you I won't fail you. So, guys, here we are, as promised. I told you that I would um, find uh, the officer's house and there I am, we're outside. This is the home, residential home, of Sergeant Martin Dunn, who likes to beat puppies. The very same Martin Dunn, who claims he has PTSD since the Manchester Arena attack. The very same Sergeant Dunn, who's walking around with firearms. Multiple firearms, in fact, not just the one. So it's quite, it's quite shocking that this person is still actively in duty. However, there is a current investigation ongoing via the Independent Police Complaints Commission slash the um, Professional Standards Department who are currently investigating his actions. Um, I assume that they would take some kind of discipline, disciplinary action as when you are a member of a serving police force, even your actions at home are still... Yeah. still come into play so at all times you are always basically liable your actions are monitored but as promised guys i wasn't joking we will come to your house so do we post it through his door or what do we yeah no maybe um, i don't really think it should be harassment but um we'll see from there what's that that you've got in your hand there mr sherlock but this is just a little uh, a little reminder of what this cunt did to his fucking dog. Oh, is it? Is that, this, is that the news article? I think this is his beamer as well, mate. So I'm just going to put that there like that. I think he'll probably see it anyway. One minute, let's get his face there. there Make sure go. his face is showing. He'll see it. So, guys, there you go. We promised you some um, Class A journalism today. And we have brought it to you in style. So, guys, you know what I'm going to say now. But I will say one thing first. Today has been an absolutely brilliant day in what we've achieved. Um, you know, we managed to track down, track down his home address, you know, we work hard. So as always guys, I want all of you to stay safe, peace and respect.